Hey, what's happening everyone? My name is Speed Streak. Welcome to Speed Streak Reviews, where we take a look at video games, movies, TV shows, comic books, or anything geek related, and see how all they turn out. Now, if you're a fan of video games such as myself, you'll understand that there were many attempts to make good video game movies. Ever since the Super Mario Bros. movie, other franchises such as Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, and Resident Evil were given the Hollywood treatment, and they just immensely failed from either being too far from the source material, to being over the top, to not being faithful at all. What's interesting is that comic book movies also had the same low treatment until in the early to late 2000s to the 2010s, they were given the spec they deserved. Even though some video game movies recently tried to be closer to the source material, they were viewed as either bad or mixed. But in 2019, we were given Detective Pikachu. When it was released, it had gotten praise for the story, the characters, and especially the Pokemon. And with this, this actually gives us a bit of hope for video game movies. But now, there's a new video game movie challenger in town, and he's blue, he's fast, and he's Sonic the Hedgehog. Based off of the video game series, it follows Sonic the Hedgehog as he and his friends protect the world from the evil Dr. Eggman and his robotic plants to rule the world. When I was a kid, my sister and I were introduced to Sonic when we played Sonic 2, but we really didn't get into the series. But it wasn't until 2011 that I was reintroduced to the series with Sonic Generations, and from then on, I really loved the series. I watched the TV shows including Sad AM, Underground, Sonic X, and Sonic Boom, and I pretty much enjoyed them. I also played some of the recent ones including Mania, Forces, Team Sonic Racing, and also did some theories for the series. When the movie was first announced, it was originally under Sony, but Paramount later bought the rights to it, and when I first heard about it, I was a bit skeptical of the direction it was going. In April of 2019, the first trailer for the movie dropped, and everyone hated it, especially towards Sonic's design for the movie, which was far from his video game counterpart. But after that, the director himself, Jeff Fowler, declared that they will delay the movie to Valentine's Day of 2020 to fix Sonic's design to make him closer to his video game counterpart, and with the help from Tyson Hess, Sonic's design was drastically changed for the better, as was seen with the second trailer from November of 2019. From then on, we heard more and more good information about the movie, and we're getting quite interested about it. Even the early room views and reactions said it was actually pretty good. And now that the movie is out, will Sonic break the sound barrier and even the video game movie curse? Well, let's roll around at the speed of sound as we see the blue blur enter the big screen. Let's look into my Sonic the Hedgehog movie review. Let's start off with the story. After escaping from dangerous foes who seek his power in his world, Sonic hides on Earth and lives there for quite a while near a small town called Green Hills, Montana. But when he accidentally created a blackout with his speed, Sonic teams up with the local cop Tom Wachowski and his family to help him find his warp rings and escape from the government and the evil Dr. Robotnik who wants to use Sonic's power for world domination. Even though some think this feels like a different version of Hop or the Smurfs, it actually isn't for the way how they wrote the story for Sonic actually works. The story may also have a buddy cop movie feel to it, but how they wrote it is actually quite clever. They reveal a bit about Sonic's backstory and gives us an actual good reason as to why Sonic came to our world. It almost has kind of a Sonic X vibe to it and in a good way actually. The way how they constructed all three acts throughout is very good and works really well in the type of world building they were doing for this movie. And there are many scenes which were very heartfelt and awesome throughout, with lessons about loneliness and friendship. With that, the plot is very well written for the Sonic movie. Next up, the characters. With this being an adaption of the Sonic games, you may know plenty of the characters from the games, but we're going to also see original characters for the movie as well. Starting off, we have Sonic, an anthropomorphic hedgehog with super speed who escapes from his 
world to Earth from enemies who want his power, Tom Wachowski, a cop from Green Hills who befriends and helps Sonic gather his rings, Maddie Wachowski, Tom's wife who helps Tom and Sonic in their adventure, and Dr. Robotnik, the main antagonist who wants Sonic's power for his robotic plans for world domination. With the help of his assistant, Agent Stone, who is kind of like the snively of the Sonic movie. What they have done for the characters is actually very well performed. Sonic's personality is not only similar to his video game counterpart, but it also shows him having a sense of loneliness and a want to have friends. The way how Sonic and Tom worked off each other throughout the movie is also very funny. Even the dialogue is really well written for all the characters. And with this, the actors themselves had a lot of fun with their characters. Next on my list, the animation. When we saw the first Sonic trailer back in April of 2019, the direction that the studio was trying to do is to make Sonic more realistic than his video game counterpart, and boy did that backfire. Luckily, they listened to the fan backlash and went back to the drawing board. And with this new design, Sonic is a lot more like his video game counterpart, with the exception of the blue arms, but from what we have seen from the movie, the animation and CGI is outstanding. The way how they brought him into the real world is actually quite remarkable. The animation with his fur and quills and super speed with the blurs and electricity is extremely well detailed. And the way how they work well with the environment is amazing. Even the animation for the Badniks is also very creative. They may not be the traditional Badniks from the games, but they still look quite threatening. With that, the animation is very awesome for the movie. Which leads to the next topic, the action. If you have played any of the Sonic games from the classics to the Dreamcast to the modern games, you may have an understanding with how the action will be performed in the movie. All I have to say, they brought their A game for this. The action across the movie shows Sonic's speed having a similarity to other speedsters, including The Flash and Quicksilver from X-Men and The Avengers. And even the battle sequence between Sonic and Robotnik is especially way past cool in the third act. Swift and fast, the action is a great part for the movie. Finally, the music. For the music, Junkie XL is brought in for the soundtrack for the Sonic movie and, to be honest, he did a really good job with it. For each scene, the music fits very well even for the action scenes and the emotional scenes. Also, if you listen closely, there are references to some of the songs from the Sonic series as well. They even made a song for the movie called Speed Me Up by Wiz Khalifa, T. Dolla Sign, Soiko the Kid, and Lil Lachi, and Lil Yachi, and it fits very well for the movie, and I love it. And like the games, the music is definitely one of the best parts of the movie. What I have to say for the Sonic movie, except it is good, great, awesome, outstanding, amazing. Not like this, this is in fact a love letter for the entire Sonic community from Jeff Fowler and all the people who direct, who created this movie. What was originally thought to be a recipe for disaster turned out to be one of the best video game movies ever made. The characters are very well adapted, a story a little bit cliched still holds up, both the animation and action are spectacular and the music is spot on. Everyone who worked on this put a lot of heart into this. Sonic has not only broken the sound barrier, but it may have also broken the video game movie curse. If you are a big Sonic fan or not and haven't seen the movie yet, please go check it out and don't forget to stay for the after credits. So that was my review for Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. I mean, what do you guys think? Are you have you seen the movie yet? What are your thoughts about it? And do you think this might be one of the best video game movies ever? Well, let me know in the comment section down below. So that's all the time I have today for this video. But don't go anywhere. We still have plenty of more reviews to look forward to more soon. So stay tuned for more. 
So thank you everyone so much for watching. And if you liked this video, don't forget to super smash that like button. Leave a comment down below to see what you think about this video. And don't forget to share a friend if you want to. And be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Get day for latest content. So once again, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Speed Streak out.